Acacia flowers are one of the most incredible treats of Australia, eye-opening and sensual as they bathe the savannah in color. Commonly known as embers, wattles, wattleseed, and pig face, the tree and flower have spread widely. With over 1,300 varieties and species worldwide, around 1,000 of them are native to Australia. However, the acacia plant is also found in Asia, Europe, Africa, and North and South America. The leaves of this plant are always in various shades of green in nature, either green with a blue tint or blue with a hint of green. Acacias have fragrant flowers with numerous long stamens, all of which are responsible for the hairy appearance of the flowers. Acacia flowers consist of five petals. They are usually white or yellow, rarely red or purple. The flowers come together and form narrow globular stars at the end of the branches. Acacia typically grows to a height of around 40 feet, other species of acacia can reach 70 feet tall and 3 feet in diameter. The golden and pale yellow acacia flower has captivated the hearts of lovers. For Victorians, the flower symbolized a secret love. Giving this flower to someone else also signified a deep friendship. Sighting an acacia in full bloom is simply spectacular, as it is a colorful explosion in the countryside bringing news of abundance and prosperity as the rain falls. Acacia, commonly known as the wattles or acacias, is a large genus of shrubs and trees in the subfamily Mimosoidae of the P family Fibaceae. Initially, it comprised a group of plant species native to Angola and Australasia. The genus name is New Latin, borrowed from the Greek Kappa Alpha Kappa Alpha. Acacia, a term used by Dioscorides for a preparation extracted from the leaves and fruit pods of Vachelian allotica, the original type of the genus. In his Pinax, 1623, Gaspard Boyne mentioned the Greek Kappa Alpha Kappa Alpha from Dioscorides as the origin of the Latin name. In the early 2000s it had become evident that the genus as it stood was not monophyletic and that several divergent lineages needed to be placed in separate genera. It turned out that one lineage comprising over 900 species mainly native to Australia, New Guinea, and Indonesia was not closely related to the much smaller group of African lineage that contained Analotica, the type species. This meant that the Australasian lineage, by far the most prolific in number of species, would need to be renamed. Botanist Leslie Pedley named this group Prachyspuma, which received little acclaim in the botanical community. Australian botanists proposed a less disruptive solution setting a different type species for Acacia, Apeninervis, and allowing this largest number of species to remain in Acacia, resulting in the two pantropical lineages being renamed Vachelia and Senegalia, and the two endemic American lineages renamed Acaciella and Mariasosa. Although many botanists still disagreed that this was necessary, this solution was eventually officially adopted at the Melbourne International Botanical Congress in 2011. Acacia remains a widely used common name across genera. A number of species have been introduced to various parts of the world, and 2 million hectares of commercial plantations have been established. The heterogeneous group varies considerably in habit, from mat-like subshrubs to canopy trees in a forest. Please check our website at www.flowershopph.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow and like us at Facebook and Twitter. Hashtag Flowershop PH1. Thank you.